My audio. My audio sucks a fat one. But I think I got it kind of jerry rigged. I'm not really sure how this, how well this is going to work. But hey, let's get on to it. How you doing? Uh, this video was presented to you by Audio Issues. Audio Issues. As well as please Audio Technica sponsor me so I never have any audio issues again. But let's talk for real about the Thieves Bargain. I actually got to play Thieves Bargain as asked by Twitter uh, request and I got to try it out. This is my honest opinion of Thieves Bargain in patch 715 for subtlety. And is it gonna make subtlety OP? Because that 20% DPS increase is pretty good. I mean, it looks good on paper, right? But I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I'm not gonna faff around here. I'm actually just gonna tell you how it is. Thieves Bargain is not that good in my personal opinion. Your damage while stealth is increased by an additional 20% and the cooldown of your vanish spell is reduced by 90 seconds. Maximum health reduced by 25%. Now that sounds fine and dandy, but that actually sucks. Mainly because it doesn't increase your damage. See, I ran multiple tests in BGs and I only had to take a few to see that the damage increase isn't there. First of all, I noticed that it wasn't there during my, uh, what is it called? Tooltip? The tooltip of every spell doesn't actually have an increase in terms of damage. So I that tells, tells me that the damage increase isn't there. The only damage increase that I did notice with subtlety after playing multiple BGs is the fact that I can hit for almost 500k in an eviscerate. If it's very lucky, with the proper crit, proper buffs available, and finality up the wazoo. That is the only time I've seen the actual damage increase. Besides that, Nightblade is hitting between 40k and 50k, and sometimes in the upper 60, depending if uh, how well I'm managing the finality or not. Uh, my Shadow Strikes are hitting sometimes even below 100k, and that has been only happening with these Bargain. In the past, usually with Phantom Assassin, it doesn't really hit under 100k it hits about 100k depending on enemies defenses and whatnot so it's like there's a little bit of give or take system there Thieves bargain does reduce my health by 25 percent so i'm rolling with reinforced armor but coming out with only 2 million health 2 million is not a lot in my personal opinion because of the way that rogues are currently rogues are running with 2.7 that is enough to make us a little bit tanky air with all the faint nerves that we got over the time and especially in the patch 715 but this 2.7 still causes us to just die throughout certain bursts, so it's not the best, uh, I guess, solution for all our problems. But it does allow us to live a little bit longer, and why losing that 0.7 mil actually makes us just so killable. And a subtle two rogues where you have just so much control, so much damage, so much offensive power, and some cooldown reduction, as well as a lot of just control over the enemy and what they're doing, whether they can burst or not it does make you basically a target. So it's a cool idea for these bargains to take off 25% health without the damage increase. The interesting part is it does still work for Vanish, where Vanish is a 30 second cooldown. So that's cool, but with the way that Vanish is in Legion, and I'm pretty sure most rogues will uh, be able to tell me, yes, that is true. There have been situations where I'm literally vanishing while an enemy is about to kill me with something powerful. I still get hit with the ability because enemies see you for like, what, two seconds while the Vanish is happening? Unlike the past expansion, World of Jenner, and I think Mosponaria, where as soon as you vanish, you were gone, out of sight, out of mind, like Houdini. And it was it was probably the better way of going about it. But it's not completely end all with the vanish and the way it functions. It just gives you ability to vanish more often. Doesn't always mean you'll be able to escape situations. Isn't always amazing. And I guess in some cases, it's almost like an extra charge of Shadow Dance, just almost uh, just half as efficient in terms of its duration. So that is nice, that is the only way I've been able to really truly use it because I guess in some cases where you can just vanish away and just run off, yes you can do that sometimes once in a while, but in most cases where you're trapped in a bad situation, dots everywhere, you're exhausting your cooldowns, vanishing and sprinting away isn't as effective as it used to be in other expansions or vanish and burst of speed. One of the things that I think Thieves Bargain is decent for is the ability to just vanish over so often. Because the damage increase doesn't actually happen, the health loss is, I guess, somewhat justified. I would even be fine if we lost like 10% health for Vanish being able to use it more often. I think that would be a safe and fair uh, way of going about it. But 20% health difference is a lot. I should know. I play Outlaw. Plunder Armor is a 20% damage increase, 20% damage decrease for the enemy, 10% health gain, 10% health reduction for the enemy. And you take on their form. So if you look like a Demon Hunter, you literally use their fears against them, kind of like Batman and Scarecrow. But in Thieves Bargain, I would feel a 20% damage increase, guys. No matter what spec I play, I would feel it. I would know, yes, that is hitting much harder. Your your Eviscerates would be hitting for 500k easy. And if crit, 
maybe even more so i feel like i would i would i would know out of all the people i feel that i have the right qualifications because i played an outlook in the past and am pretty intimate in terms of using my plunder armor and the 20 percent damage increase that it gives i would feel it but it's not there and you can just look at my numbers i mean i feel like i'm doing okay in terms of like situations where it's like me versus other players and just how much damage i'm dealing to them compared to how much damage they're dealing to me but i think that's just uh, because of overall damage buffs to subtlety it's a nine percent damage buff that's basically applying to everything and that's not really these bargain making these plays at all if any situations i had some cooldowns where i could use vanish a lot more often on an enemy so it just feels like i am more offensive on the enemy but it doesn't actually mean I'm always offensive and dealing more damage at every single go. So I feel like these bargains are just not that great. The damage increase doesn't happen. The vanish uh, cooldown reduction is present. The health reduction that it applies is present as well. And it's just not justified. If they were to tone it down to 10. Or if a dev were to just go out and say, hey, Thieves Bargain, I don't think it's working. I think it's broken. Um, it will just redo it and take off the 20% damage increase component out of it. That'd be fine. Or if they were to go back and make sure that, hey, it actually does give you 20% more damage, that's fine. Then we might see rogues literally one-shotting in BGs and maybe even arenas. Which a lot of people wouldn't have an issue to, but I think that'd be a lot more things to balance. Currently, I don't think subtlety is in a bad position, and Thieves Bargain isn't really a talent that most of them use. Phantom Assassin still is a better option and uh, allows you more control, more sustained damage, more, cha and more chances to keep using your Shadow Dance, which gives you energy, combo points, you can transfer combo points into... Uh, finishers which gives you energy from more comfort it's just a it's just a system that works and these bargains is an interesting option i like what it meant to do and i like what it used to do back in the beta but currently it is actually useless in my personal opinion so that's been it for me guys talking a little bit about these bargain let me know what you think about these bargain in 715 i honestly think that somebody in blizzard though did mess up either they wrote the semantics wrong or in terms of stealth that it doesn't apply to maybe your um shadow dance maybe just works in normal stealth like non-vanish non-shadow dance stealth and that's like very very limiting uh maybe it's just completely broken and busted and somebody other devs need to actually make sure that the 20 percent damage increase is enabled but who knows let me know everything you guys think in the comments below thanks so much for watching this video uh with all the uh out rogue nerfs that we did see ourselves or because i did say myself i might end up doing a little bit more subtle team and a little bit more assassination videos because I am in a transition where I'm kind of mourning the fact that, oh, outlaw, my baby, my baby. So I am I might end up playing a little bit more subtlety and assassination in my free time. So if you guys have any ideas for me to try out some assassination and subtlety videos, uh, feel free to voice that in the comments as well. Because I'll be just enjoying myself over there for a bit. But I'm coming back to outlaw in full swing as soon as um, my mourning phases, uh, phases have gone through. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Of course, I appreciate you guys' views. Give this video a like if you uh, support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.